Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. On a recent tour of Dollar Tree, I was pleased to see a lot of Valentine items on display. And that inspired me to get busy making some Valentine crafts. I think you'll be amazed to see how we're going to use many of the items that start out very plain and unassuming and are transformed into beautiful, charming, and lovely decorative items as well as gifts. My name is Lisa and I want to show you now some of the items I bought. So here's the haul. We have a tinsel ornament teddy bear that we're going to transform into a lovely yarn bear. We have one of these styrofoam cones, a round beaded wreath, one of the silver trays. We also have here the hearts garland, which has a lot of wooden beads included. We also have some of the Christmas ornaments that were 63 cents a piece. Here, the sweet little pink bear is a lovely jar, and these are the heart-shaped measuring cups. This napkin holder will surprise you once we adorn it for Valentine's. This lovely glass jar has a ceramic heart lid. And here, the classic cylinder vase, which is useful in so many ways, is attractive with a lid. The lid is interchangeable off one of the jars the Dollar Tree sells. Here, the plastic cookie jar is going to be enlivened with some fun embellishments, and this wooden cross will be beautified. Here, one of the wooden houses is going to be decorated and we'll use some of the lovely Dollar Tree calendar images to decorate those wooden hearts. Except for the garland, which was $3, and the ornaments on sale for $0.63, cents, everything you see here was just $1.25. And now we'll dive into our first craft. For this project, you'll just need some Mod Podge. I bought this large jar from Michael's, but Dollar Tree also sells it. You'll also want the Dollar Tree cookie jar, as well as a piece of scrapbook paper. Scrapbook paper has a nice weight to it. I also am using some Dollar Tree heart-shaped rings, which I use some wire cutters to remove the loop in the back. Then take a pen and outline the lid of the cookie jar so that you get a perfect circle. You'll wanna cut that circle out and that will serve as the decorative top for your cookie jar lid. I like this black and white stripe because it has a sophisticated print. Then you'll wanna place that on top of the lid and make a mark where the lid, the little knob on top of the lid protrudes. You'll wanna cut out that little knob spot and then take your lid and using Mod Podge and a sponge brush, paint the entire surface. After applying a liberal coat of Mod Podge to the surface of that lid, simply place your cutout round on top. Press it down and you can see how the knob protrudes through the little hole that you made. We're going to cover that up with one of the decorative rings. Simply use some hot glue on the back and then you'll place that right on top. The heart gives it that Valentine flair, but you could certainly use a little wooden knob or any type of jeweled knob, anything that you like or have available. At Christmas, I decorated one, as you can see in the overlay, using a wooden knob. So here it is. I think it just turned out so beautifully. I'm adding now another coat of Mod Podge over the surface just to give it a nice finished appearance. Isn't this just so pretty? The next thing you wanna do is to remove the label off of the cookie jar. Unlike some labels, this one does come off easily. There's so many ways to fill this. Next, we're going to take a Dollar Tree napkin holder and simply remove the tag. You'll then wanna use one of the faux leather words that Dollar Tree sells in a package of four. Using a line of hot glue, I'm simply attaching the word thankful to that front. I'll then repeat the process and do it along the back side. It's amazing how these words fit so perfectly across the front and follow the curvature of the form. 
I decorated one with a Christmas theme, and it was so pretty on our table with a package of Dollar Tree napkins. It's amazing how inexpensively you can make such a lovely decorative item for your table, buffet, or as a hostess gift. As you see now, I'm opening the package with the Valentine garland, and I was amazed. For $3, you get a lot of parts. Um, it's all connected to be used as a garland, but you can certainly take it apart, as I do, to use the various conversation hearts and colorful beads. It's all made of wood. I'm going to use one of the conversation hearts to attach to the napkin holder, again, just to give it a Valentine theme. I'm going to hot glue it to the top and then do the same on the back side. It's fun to see how they replicate the classic conversation hearts that we've always uh, enjoyed. So you can see this one says love, and I used a different one on the other side. I also thought it might be pretty to embellish it in a different way. So here I'm showing you another option. By using some hot glue along that upper arch, I'm going to just attach a little red sparkly heart that I purchased in a package at Dollar Tree. And now onto our next project, which will use the little black wooden house shape design. We're going to go ahead and use another portion of the garland and it's already pretty much done for us. The beads are connected to another one of the conversation hearts. I'm also going to add some twine. You can buy these spools at any craft store or the Dollar Tree. I'm taking a length of the twine and I'm just wrapping it around that house. And once I get it wrapped around, I'm then going to add on the beaded garland. You can see that I'm affixing the ends of the twine with some hot glue. And now we'll add on our charming little section of garland uh, just below where that twine is. And again, I'm going to use some hot glue to attach the ends to adhere it. After it was in place, I took some of the Dollar Tree lacy ribbon and I just outlined the roof line. Paired with this sweet little teddy bear I made using a needle felting technique, I think it makes a charming little display. Our next easy DIY uses one of the 63 cent Dollar Tree Christmas ornaments. These are clear and can really be used for almost any occasion. A lot of people have Valentine trees or Easter trees or just simply like to hang them on knobs. So I'm using a piece of fabric. It was actually a little skirt that I found uh, at Marshall's. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut this fabric and I'm going to use it to decorate the ornament. Again, you could use any lovely Valentine's themed fabric. The fabric fits better, I discovered, when you allow it to gather. So simply gather it and secure it at the top with some hot glue. I then used a piece of decorative tape to outline the rim. Since you can never have too much bling, I then decided to add a heart-shaped jewel from Totally Dazzled just to finish it off. Our next project is going to be beautifully transformative as we take the wooden cross from Dollar Tree and use some nice plush yarn. You could also use the lovely yarn from Dollar Tree, but in this case I decided to use a more plush yarn that I had purchased at Hobby Lobby. There's so many options for ways to do this, but it's a very simple technique and all I'm doing is having attached the beginning strand with hot glue at the base, I'm now just wrapping the cross Using nice even rows, I'm just going to go all the way up to the center point and then I'm going to go ahead and wrap the right arm of the cross. Once we get to the end there, we'll go ahead and hot glue that down and then we'll simply start at the top, work our way down and do the left side. 
You can see I'm once again just starting with a line of hot glue to secure that first row and then just wrapping my way down and then just finishing up that other side. We'll fill that empty space in the middle with a lovely heart that I made using air dry clay. I have the instructions for making those hearts on my playlist on my channel. There's so many easy ways to embellish items that you already have to make them seasonally festive. I have so much more to share with you and I am working on new projects as well. So stay tuned for an upcoming video later this week. In the meantime, take care and God bless.